Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 316 of Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. We are back in the very first place we spawned. We are back in Vault 11. And this is the Overseer's Office. And uh, before we continue with the main storyline, uh, I just wanted to come back here because I remember there are still two items of importance. Uh, actually, it, it actually helps very well if we can get this. And we have the master uh, lock picking ability right now. But I remember in my earlier playthrough, hey. uh, we can get dog meat to actually Over here. do this for us. Let's say we get him in here. Move here. Okay, and then we talk to him. How you doing, buddy? And then we do fetch. Hey boy, think you can find something for me? And then we we'll press items. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. Look, he just picked it up. He just picked up the creolator. It's no longer here. Creolator cage, it's still locked. So it takes a master to unlock it. And where is where is our <laughs> Hey dog meat, where are you? Jeez. Hey dog meat, look at this guy. He's a master thief. <laughs> okay, let's do trade. And then let's look at the arms. There it is, the creolator. This is uh, a very, very, very powerful item, and uh, it will freeze uh, people, or it will freeze its target, and so uh, that's why this is a very, a, a very useful item. Anyway, let's get out of here now. Now, now that we have found this, where, how do we get out of here? I think this is the shortcut. Really? Yeah. Nope. Oh yeah, that was the shortcut. Okay. So we back. Yeah, now we're going out. Let's get out of here. So that's one item. And See you later, dog meat. <laughs> no, they will automatically port out uh, to where we are. With the ghoulish perk, radiation heals you, and it's possible that hostile feral ghouls actually become allies. So we can go to the our mechanist lair, and then drop off the creolator, and then we can uh, go for the second item. Uh, the second item is a little more... Let's go to the mechanist lair. Okay, I'm just checking to see. Again, this is episode 316 of Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition. We have a a piece of armor. I think I'm just trying to remember where we dropped dog meat's armor. We we have or we rather we found a uh, dog armor and some kind of a dog collar. I just don't remember where we have kept where we kept it, and uh, we have not been using dog meat as much because uh, the robots actually have a bigger carrying capacity, and the the uh, Far Harbor merchants have the what do you call this recon armor, and each piece is about twelve thousand caps, and so it is important that we bring a. Oh, how come this guy is no longer? <laughs> it's going around, but it's not lighting up. This is. Another, uh, yeah, this thing is a little on the glitchy side. Okay, let us pick up all the items that dog meat has. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, and then we can just drop them off in our containers. Oh, don't be that holy. Creolator. Uh, we can improve this. So right now we don't have... I will... Okay, let's, let's look at what the Creolator does. Uh, Creolator, damage 30. We have not improved this. I don't know if we can improve this or not. So I can't remember. Uh, fire rate is 90. That's pretty good, actually. Our range 71. And the thing is that it can freeze enemies. And that is one of its best qualities. So that's why we are... I'm keeping all of the really special items over here. Uh, a Brazo. Screwdriver. These are the regular items. So again... I'm just offloading all the stuff we found rather than messing up with them. This should be the armor, yeah. And we should not actually keep any armor. I will just scrap most of these items here because we are we are not planning to have any followers in this area. So that the, our followers can actually pick up items from our inventory. And I would rather they don't do that because uh, there are like specific weapons that we really, really want. And we want to keep it to our, for ourselves so that when, like here, like we got the Eternus. Uh, some of these we, we really don't want. Uh, explosive, converted, all. So these are items that we really really want anyway so okay then we can move on to the second item the second item is actually somewhere uh here we have never visited the cambridge let's go to the cit ruins and then to the west of it is the cambridge Mm, whatever that lab is uh, there is a special chess piece that has very good stats or starting stats and that can be incorporated into our t60 armor because we have a tesla based um then i can't remember we we pick up something else and then this one so this can be for like a reserve armor because with a good starting stats we can still improve it and that will make it i don't know how it compares to wait uh so west of us Is it this one? I hope it's this one. It's all lighted up. No, no, that, that is a. Uh... Okay, Cambridge Polymer Labs. I think it's this one. Now, where is the front entrance? So we haven't been here at all. Where is the front gate? Oh, right here. And I th oh, I sh I get oh, I forgot. You know what? It might be a good idea to go back out because this has a bunch of feral ghouls in here. 
let's go back out and save the game and do a hard save and come back in because uh, this one has the possibility I don't know I, I'm, I, I'm trying to remember I think this place has uh, is infested by ghouls feral ghouls and it is possible I think the for given our current level we're like over a hundred it's possible that it might spawn legendary ghouls and if that's the case uh, let's see if we can loot lock the uh, ghouls or loot lock I'll do a quick save to see if we can if there's a possibility of loot locking uh, the situation or spawn the spawn of the ghouls so that's something we can try so that then we will discover another uh, good or a high level loot locking opportunity or location Okay. Uh... Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Uh, no. I don't have time for this. I am required to inform you that this is a secure facility, and access by non-employees is restricted to the lobby. Uh oh, we might have to kill it. I think. Okay, uh, since we killed it, uh, let's see. Ooh, danger now. We can actually work with it and go through the whole process of the being introduced or like I think it would give us a give us like an orientation uh, in the company and therefore as an employee we can actually have the run of the place but in the end we still have I believe we still have to kill it because the kill Molly I mean the what's this uh, I think we can we do this And then it will open that door, maybe? Yeah. Scanning for contamination. <laughs> Find another way to escape. We're not trying to escape here because we're trying to get nucleostrictive lining project project thesis. Initial studies that have le led us to hypothesize that by taking a known piezoelectric material, lead zirconium titanite and properly applying a polymer of gold and lithium hybrid that a localized conversion of ionizing radiation to electrical energy might be achieved this method of compact energy harvest may prove suitable for application to existing power armor currently in use by the u.s armed forces and that is exactly what we're looking for initial tests have proven that the metho methodology is sound radioactive energy harvest is 15 times anyway so 
this this actually talking about the the effects that they're planning to or they're trying to accomplish and here is where we will have unidentified okay let's just take these so we need to what are these prototype sample oh we have to insert items here before we can process this so we need to look for more prototype items and when we do that see these are the th things Okay, let So so far we have feral ghouls. Okay, let's do, uh, let's check upstairs first. Oh, we need that one. Oh, this place is old. Jeez. So far, we haven't seen... So, we've seen ghouls, but... We're not seeing legendary stuff. Okay, at least uh, <laughs> dog meat is has is keeping them occupied. Oh, what's this? Is that a? Oh, I thought it was a magazine. Yeah, this place has a lot of phone. Uh, has a lot of phones. Sands. Ooh, two. Slave S A and D could be only one. Yeah, could be S S A N D S. Okay, so starting with one, uh, with S rather. Uh, but sense is two. Okay, maybe S double S S. Internal mail relay. Okay, not important. Let's just open a safe. Uh, huh. 
Let's not take the. Okay. Let's give him all the phones. <laughs> Jump, expert lock. Okay, uh, in infested. There we go. Ooh, nice. Open door. Ooh, trap. Just feral ghouls. We're not getting. What's this? A Creo mine. We're looking for samples, and you know, unidentif unidentified samples. What is this? Oh, pipe pistol. We don't need that. Uh, Brahmin meat. Oh, here it is. Hopefully this will tell us something. Isotope containment. Disengage containment lockdown. Breach detected in containment area. Laboratory should be evacuated until repairs are made. Protective gear should be used at all times. Local controls can be found in containment lab C5. Clean room. They're like maybe just going through this quickly, and maybe if there is like a password, we will see it. Okay, so I guess that's for this second floor, right? Open this one. Do we come through here? Okay, that's another. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Isotope containment terminal. Uh, leak detected in radioactive isotope containment. Personnel are advised to evacuate the facility until proper maintenance can be performed. In the event that evacuation is not possible, protections, protective suits. Okay, security door control. Okay.
and there's another on on a sample. Okay, uh, our timer went off, so this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.